What is up, guys? Max Bones here for episode four of the Ring of Honor series here. As uh, we, We've all caught up now. Uh, <laughs> the uh, first three episodes were recorded before I uploaded episode one to YouTube. And so I just want to say thank you all who have uh, liked and commented on the series so far. As of right now, only two of the episodes have been uploaded. Uh, there's still one more. It needs to be uploaded. This is being recorded on a Saturday, so this and that'll be uploaded on Monday. So yeah, even though <laughs> it'll be nothing when uh, this gets uploaded, it'll just be days later. But uh, other than that, I just want to say thank you. Uh, <laughs> just uh, generally speaking, uh, some a lot of people have uh, liked it up, commented, like I said, and uh, it's it's great. It's great to see that you guys are. Uh, Wanting to see more content and a new series. I figured this would do pretty well. I didn't think it'd do that well. I mean, that's just like, whoa. <laughs> uh, it's, it's awesome to see. Yeah, so uh, this is our last television show before On Horizon, which was, uh, will be quite the show. It will be in Japan, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Hopefully we can sell our cork and all. I doubt it. I'm sure our popularity in Japan is probably like in the 10, so probably not even that. So we'll... Have to wait and see. We have a big main event on Kenny Omega versus Michael Elgin. That's going to be something. Uh, we have a Ring of Honor television title match between Marty Skrull and a BJ Whitmer. We have a lot of pre-show matches, too. We got five pre-show matches. I want to put a lot of people on the card. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Here we go as we have our opening contest here as fucking Okabayashi taking on Steve O'Reno. And they uh, don't click. And oh my fucking Okabayashi with a 28 and Steve Arena with a 17. Yeah, it's just, you know, they don't click. It's still going to bring them down. And Stokely Hackaway, uh, at least he did good work ringside. That's good. Even though he's not suited for his gimmick, we have to change that. As, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember last time I hit the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, so here's. Change that. Below average. Well, at least it's not awful. God damn it. So all Japan Triple Crown Champ. Come on, give give me a break. Give me a break, Ring of Honor. we are. Donovan Dijak and Joey. Yeah, they have great they have great chemistry too. And Donovan Dijak with a forty seven. I'm glad uh Lionheart on uh, the comments on the uh first episode wanted me to push Donovan Dijak, which is good. I'm glad someone else uh is on my side, as I would like to push Donovan Dijak as well. And he's got a forty seven in ring performance, even though Chemistry probably boosts that a little bit. That is solid. We could definitely work with that. Good, good shit. Good shit. Even though it's a 37 deep minus match, but we got some positives. You know, we have some positives in there. Is yeah, <laughs> this fucking women's of honor. Wow, I'm surprised Vader Scott did that well actually. Is uh, yeah, this is. You know what? Uh, that's like the third match that's been not even a D. <sighs> Man. Uh, you know, I was thinking about bringing in Candice LeRae. That's definitely someone I wanted to bring in, but I'm definitely going to have to bring in some better names for this uh, Women's of Honor because this is not looking good. <laughs> this is it's not looking good. But as we go on, oh, wow, I thought this match would be better. That's, huh. That's something. Oh, I got Lance was off his game. And he's, uh, he's getting better at his gimmick. As, uh, yeah, the Motor City Machine Guns defeat the uh, debuting Bravado Brothers. As this is still another pre-show match with Alex Shelley defeating Harlem Bravado with the Border City Stretch. As, yeah, well, that's... I, I'm... Um, uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, this, this did just about what it could have done, honestly. You know? Yeah. I don't know why I was expecting this to be better. I, I guess I'm still thinking the Motor City Machine Guns. This is... <laughs> Five years ago, <laughs> they're still a, a great tag team. I mean, they're they're average, above average tag team, but still, you know, this is this is as good as it's gonna get. In the meantime, but oh yeah, this fucking match. This should have been on the TV show, but I ran out of none of time, brother. <laughs> ran out of time as uh, the debuting Matt Seidel takes on Kamatachi with Kamatachi picking up the win uh, with the bridging fisherman suplex in ten minutes and twenty seconds. As uh, oh. That's that was a below average gimmick. Psychology not there, but that's fine. I kind of expected that, as this is just a high spots match, and Matt's able to seventy two. Good shit, fifty nine. Good shit, good shit. I like it. I like it. As oh boy, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> we start off hot and heavy with our uh, 
the quarterfinals of the top prospect. Yes, Tracy Williams hot sauce defeats T TKO Ryan and will go on to uh, day two or night two, <laughs> depending on uh, the uh, way you're on the world, as uh, Tracy Williams is going to take on JT Dunn for the top prospect trophy, the finals of that. that that's going to be something. It's going to be, uh, hopefully, the best match of the tournament so far. There is that. As then, oh man, this didn't do well. What the fuck happened? <laughs> as, uh, we have Homicide and Jay Briscoe as Mark Briscoe uh, sprained his ACL and he will not be at the Honor Rising shows, which is a big bummer. I was really uh, looking forward to that six-man tag match between Homicide and the Briscoes against uh, the Young Bucks and Adam Page, but life goes on as we reveal his replacement, which will be his <laughs> Jay Briscoe, just kind of holds up the DVD of Toro Yano. Of course, those two have had history uh, before teaming, as they were the first ever uh, never six man open weight tag champions, as uh, they were also. A part of the Ring of Honor six man tournaments uh, team. They were, uh, they were teamed up in that. So, you know, good shit to bring in old Toro Yano. I can't wait. As, uh, yeah, it's going to be something. Another New Japan guy, too. So that, that's good. That is good. Yeah, why did I get a 34? That, hmm. I don't know if it's because we based Yano on Overness, though. I think he's a mid carder. I think he's actually kind of over for being a New Japan guy. That's, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I gotta just hmm. Interesting to see, but then we have also Homicide uh, continuing with a promo on Adam Cole. As they're just talking about, you know, you know Adam Cole. Say, gotta teach, <laughs> gotta beat some respect into him. That's what he's gonna do uh, in the future, and he doesn't even care. He has to work his way up. You know, Adam Cole's ducking him. It's no surprise he, he expected that. And so it doesn't matter uh, what he's got to do to get his hands on Adam Cole. And you get a, uh, a shot at that Ring of Honor title. And, uh, we have the <laughs> the debuting team of Beer Batter Cheese. Another from the comments section. You guys want to see the team of Cheeseburger Bob Evans and the Beer City Bruiser. You got them. <laughs> the, uh, defeating the team of Punisher Martinez and the Pretty Boy Killers in... Uh, it's a minute, a match that went six minutes and thirty eight seconds with Cheeseburger tapping out Punisher Martinez. I'll be goddamn. Is yeah. Oh wow, Cheeseburger with a twenty nine. Oh boy. Wow, the Beer City Bruiser uh, was the best person in that match. I did not expect that. Did not expect that. Bob Evans is not suited for those gimmicks though. Well, oh, Punisher Martinez and Kevin Sullivan have excellent school chemistry. I don't care. I really wish I would just get rid of them. <laughs> I'm sure that day will come. But as we have a Marty Scurll promo, as he is uh, talking about how he spent his Valentine's Day, <laughs> he spent it with his Ring of Honor television title, as how he heard that Will Ospreay gets a rematch for his Ring of Honor television title, as he figured, yeah, you know, Will, how long did you spend with that Ring of Honor television title? A day? Not even? Not even 24 hours? As I have you know, spent the day pondering, thinking, you know, I, I've i been... Yeah, so let's... You know what, Will Ospreay? I spent my Valentine's with the Ring of Honor television title. I didn't keep it out of my sights. I have cuddled with this thing. I have not... I have not spent a night without it. This is my baby. I care so much about this. But you, Will Ospreay, you, this was an afterthought for you. You weren't prepared to defend this Ring of Honor title all across the globe. Instead, you lost it to me, to the villain, Marty Skrull. And you got caught with a chicken wing. It's no surprise as this, as we spend our time in Japan, you will once again fall victim to the chicken wing at Honor Rising. So there is that. And Marty Skrull, the villain, as, oh, this television matchup, uh, as Marty Skrull defeats BJ Whipner with a cross face chicken wing, making it defense number two. 
of the Ring of Honor World Television title. As Kevin Sullivan, again, did some good work at ringside. God damn it. Wow, BJ Whipner, he's still improving. I'll be goddamn. Yeah, steal the show. We probably, probably wasn't for the best. Yeah, odd face heel. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised. I I'm generally surprised that I got a 40. We, uh, I kind of forget how... Whipper is a good brawler. I mean, this could have went well if we'd done a wild brawl. Interesting. Interesting to see. Might try to do that next time this match happens. If this match happens again. So it did get a 40. D minus is in. We go to the Young Bucks. As they are at their uh, their residence. One of them. Matt of Nick's son. Whichever one. <laughs> we're at Nick's. You know, he's the, the ND taker. Of course we're at <laughs> old, old brother Nick's house. As uh, the Young Bucks. Responding to the Hardys as, uh, why is it NCH and Brother Nero, not Matt Hardy? What the fuck happened? <laughs> That's, we fucked up on that. As, uh, Matt and Nick Jackson are on the front yard of the, uh, of Nick's house. As, uh, they start, you know, like, facing, you know, just a, a front shot from them. As, uh, you know, goes, you know, with those, uh, Hardys, we grew up idolizing them. It's no secret. It's nice that we get a chance against them at the anniversary show at Ring of Honor in March. And, uh, you know, Brother Miro, Matt Hardy, Broken Matt, you know, you have caught the wrestling world by storm. But this is our house. You're in our neck of the woods. You're in Ring of Honor. Place that gave us a chance where nobody else would, where everybody else gave up on us and threw us away like yesterday's newspaper. Nothing but trash. And we showed the world why we're the best tag team in the world, and we're going to prove again that night that we are the best tag team in the world. As uh, then, they, there's an aerial shot of the Young Bucks lawn, and it's <laughs> and they have mowed in a Meltzer driver. <laughs> you know how uh, Matt Hardy, when he, uh, during the uh, final deletion match, how he's on the lawnmower <laughs> just uh, desecrating over the uh, Brother Nero's uh, land, uh, lawn makings, I guess, as you want to call it. It's they have done their own landscaping as they landscaped a Meltzer driver. Into their yellow, into their lawn. Pretty cool. I figured it'd be pretty cool. But segment lost heat. So there's that. And then, wow, what the fuck happened with this television show? <laughs> Kenny Omega defeats Michael Elgin in 50 minutes and 37 seconds with a V trigger. As, yeah. Fucking Kenny Omega with an awful gimmick. And he was off his game. Holy shit. This got a 41. Wow. This is. What the fuck happened? It's inconsistency and poor gimmick and booking decision. Wow. We... <laughs> that that was bad. Like, I feel like I was really excited about that. When <laughs> two of the pre-show matches did better than the <laughs> main event and the co-main event, the TV taping, we fucked up. That That is on me, fam. Wow. Wow, that is... Well, <laughs> hopefully Honor Rising does better, as that will do it for this episode. As we again lost popularity in the uh, tri-state area. So hopefully we can bounce back with a good event, or events rather, in Honor Rising. Days 1 and 2, nights 1 and 2. As we will see you there for episode 5. Take care. Yeah!